Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope you've been having a, a good day so far. Uh, thank you for tuning in and for joining in this study of God's Word. Um, God's Word is so interesting. Uh, some of the things that we see there, uh, you know, some of those instances, are very, very interesting. And especially we've been looking at, we've been studying the, uh, the, some of the questions that people asked the Lord Jesus and the response of the Lord. And we've been learning some truths from that. So today we're going to look at one such question that um, they asked. Uh, it was a collective um, group, you know, scribes and Pharisees, that they asked the Lord Jesus um, uh, and the Lord's response to that. Okay. We see this in Luke chapter 5 and uh, we can uh, read from 29 onwards. Then Levi gave a great feast in his own house and there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them and their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples saying why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners Jesus answered and said to them those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So here we see this, uh, uh, here we see this scenario where um, there's a great feast and a lot of people and among them tax collectors and uh, people who you would call sinners because uh, of maybe of their reputation and so on. We see them and the Lord Jesus sitting with them and fellowshipping with them and having a meal with them. And uh, the Pharisees and the scribes, they complain saying, why is this person, this teacher, this doer of miracles, why is he sitting with sinners? Why is he sitting with people of you know, uh, such reputation? And the Lord answered and said, you know, those who are well don't need a doctor, but those who are sick definitely need. He said, I have come to call the sinners to repentance. And uh, a similar uh, instance we see in Luke chapter 15 as well, verses 1 to 3. Tax collectors and sinners drew near to him uh, to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke to them, spoke this parable to them, saying, and we see three parables that the Lord shared. The parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and the parable of the lost son. And in all these three parables, there's something that was lost, a coin, a sheep, a son who went astray. And they were found, brought back. And what we see is great rejoicing over that. It records, Bible records that uh, there's great rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents. Now, this is God's heart. The Lord Jesus, he's the express image of the Father. And what he did, what he said, was something that, that reflected God's heart. So we see here that this is God's heart. What is it? To seek the lost. This is God's heart to save the lost. And this is God's heart to rejoice over every sinner who repents where every person who is lost, who is found. And so, this is our learning and this is our application that we need to have the same perspective and the same heart of compassion for those who are lost. And, uh, and, and the same celebration and rejoicing when they repent and come back home. So know the Father's heart and let's live each day delighting the Father's heart. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that even as we studied this um, instance, Lord, we see that uh, Lord, your heart for the poor, your heart for those who are lost, and your heart for sinners. Father, we thank you that you love the sinner. And Lord, we thank you that you, you reach out to the sinner and you come to see, seek and save the lost. And yes, Lord, may we have the same heart of compassion. May we have the same, Lord, eyes, same heart that you have, God, even as we live life daily. 
we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.